Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hick Hardware. It's been a while since I've posted a video or a how-to on Space Mesh, and it's mainly because I've been working on something big. There is a series of videos that I'm working on. I'm going to be out of town for a couple days, so it's still maybe a little bit over a week off before I will be able to put the whole video series up. But I did want to get a preview to get people excited about this and just see what's coming and explain a little bit why you haven't seen too many Space Mesh videos. I still love Space Mesh. The team has been awesome at uh, solving a lot of the problems that they're encountering as more and more Smeshers join up. And uh, this has just been something that I've been building because I have a lot of nodes and I was going to be working on like Python scripts and some other methods to track them all, but people have already done all the work by creating some of these really cool tools and it may seem overwhelming at first, but I will be in a creating a series of videos that basically starts from a fresh Ubuntu installation all the way up to what I'm about to show you now. And this is going to be a fantastic option, even if you're just running one node, like this is not only amazing technology to learn, but it really just makes monitoring your nodes that much easier. There's no messing around with updates and all sorts of things that can just, you know, make it really difficult to, to keep your nodes going. So before I talk too long, let's jump exact, uh, right into uh, what I have here. So um, this is the dashboard that I set up and you can start to see some of the benefit already. I have got the sync status, and this is, I'm not 100% sure. I'll post the credit in the description who came up with this. It's, a, there's, it's on a GitHub repo, so I did not make this. I copy-pasted the JSON and updated a few things, so I will give credit in the description. I can't remember offhand who, who created this. Um, and there's been a ton of help getting this set up from the disc, other Discord users that know Docker and Grafana and all this stuff way more than I do. So shout out to everybody in the Discord that's helped me out. Uh, I'm going to pay it forward by creating these videos. But you can see the sync status up here. Um, I just got these set up. Uh, I copied over some state from uh, some other nodes. And you can see initially I was having some issue with issues with these but it was immediately clear like something's wrong with these because these are fully synced so I shut them down I uh, realized that I forgot to actually copy over the state files so I shut this one down copied over all the state files to these and then started it back up this one caught up and you can kind of see like how quickly um, from turning it on that was 846 to fully synced synced 849 so only three minutes since I started this node for it to catch up and sync which is pretty awesome these were starting with a uh, copied over state database and they were a little bit further behind so they took a little bit while a little bit longer to start but eventually they were all synced up and good to go so I can see just in one graph all 15 of these nodes on this host they are all good I can also see the actual layer that they are on, the peers, which these are all public right now. Um, in the video, I'll show how to set up public and private so that you don't have so many connections. You're just going to have a couple public nodes, and then the rest of them will be private. Uh, activation publish on time. I don't really know what this is. I think, it, I think a lot of this is for like poet and stuff uh, ATX uh, sync status that just means I think that I'm synced with all the current ATXs um, uh, again this is probably for poet because it's like activation post duration proof of work duration uh, there's some latencies here which got a little bit weird when uh, I was starting those nodes there's some message message latencies um, these, I think, a lot of these are just when either these are nodes that are earning rewards or nodes that are going through like Poet. These are all, all these nodes are empty. There's no post data assigned to them, which is why uh, a lot of these are, there's no data. So anyways, this dashboard's super awesome, but that is not it. Uh, because this is Grafana, by the way. 
and it's just a way of basically taking metrics and putting it in a dashboard and you can add new uh, graphs. This isn't even everything that you can add. There's other things you can add and you can modify. Uh, you can go in and edit all these. You can learn like all the Grafana stuff and actually build these dashboards yourself or just use ones that other people have made. But it gets even better. So that was the Space Mesh, uh, my host Bravo metrics. There is what's called Node Exporter, and this is a dashboard for my PC. So the actual host. So I can see you know, the CPU usage, I can see memory usage. So I've got 15 hosts, and they have 20 gigabytes of memory that they're using. Um, we can see all of like the network traffic, and there's just basically every, every possible thing that you could possibly want to see, you can see here. So this is an amazing monitoring tool for your system as a whole. You can see it's 48 core, 126 gigabytes of RAM. My root file system is two terabytes. It's been up for four hours. So this is like really cool, like quick overview. Um, and this is a node exporter. So this is actually a service that you'll set up on your host. And I'll go through in the videos on how to set this up on your host publish the metrics to Prometheus, which Prometheus is kind of like the middleman, I would suppose, like between Grafana and your host. Uh, and it helps with uh, publishing a lot of these metrics to Grafana. And then we have the CAD Visor, Container Advisor. So we're going to be running Docker. And this Container Advisor, it will uh, run on your, your host. And you'll be able to, as a Docker image actually, so it'll run on Docker, and it'll show you everything for your hosts. So we can see total memory usage is, you know, right under, right around 20 uh, gigabytes, which we saw earlier. I can see how much memory each of these nodes is using. Um, we can, it, it looks a little bit weird because th this is memory cached and uh, Spacebush node 5, actually that does have post data and it's creating the post.bin right now. And it just uses like a crazy amount of cache. But if we look over here, it's really only using 4.4, 4, 5 uh, gigabytes. So nothing too crazy. We can see network traffic for each node. Um, and then just some like Docker information about each of the different uh, containers. So these are all containers, uh, Cadvisor, Portainer, Prometheus, um, and then all my different nodes. So this is super cool. Uh, these three dashboards that I have set up, and I'm actually gonna have more hosts, so I'll have more of these dashboards set up, and there's an easy way to, to get these all set up. So if you're doing multi-host, I'll kind of give an introduction to that. It's This is more gonna be geared towards my setup. And let me just bring you uh, to my setup here. So basically, I've got my Linux host with Docker installed on it. Um, and I also have Prometheus as a container on Docker. Um, Node exporter actually goes over here. Sorry. OK, so I have Node exporter as a, as a service on my Linux host. Then I have Prometheus which is actually, I have a Windows laptop, that's what I'm recording on right now. Um, I have Prometheus and Cadvisor installed as containers. I have all my nodes installed as containers. And then I am going to have my post data, post data, post data, all of my post data will be on the Linux host uh, as hard drives. So I'll have a, a four terabyte hard drive for each of these. And then no data, no data, no data. So that'll be uh, you know a folder on my host that has the configs, that has the uh, space mesh data like the state.sql and all that other stuff. Um, this is old. They're actually all going to be bind mounts. I'm not using any volumes for my nodes. Uh, I haven't updated this in a little while, but. Uh, I install Grafana on the Windows laptop, and that actually allows me to hook up Prometheus to Grafana, even though Prometheus is running on my Linux host, we'll forward those ports so that this Windows laptop can connect to this uh, host and get the Prometheus metrics. 
it might sound complicated it's super easy um, and that kind of gets everything going and one thing I haven't shown and it's not in here but let me add it is portainer so let me see if I can bring portainer over uh, let's bring back up Chrome and we'll bring in portainer here all right so this is portainer and each of these nodes is a docker container they're running 1.2.1 uh, I can even go in and look at my logs here if I want to see the logs for them uh, this does log rotation automatically um, you can see you can actually see metrics for them but again it's better to use the uh, the node exporter and cadvisor and you can see I have also three other docker containers running that kind of you know the metrics the actual portainer that I'm looking at right now uh, everything is set up here and the best part is this is a docker compose file so if I go into stacks I have this Bravo stack here and it is just a docker compose that goes over all of my nodes so I have node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, uh, node 5 etc um, and then I also have like Cadvisor and Prometheus in here that's running on a, a network that I created on docker called SpaceNet and it's a bridge network I have the IP addresses set up here so they're all static um, I've created all of them to use just like different ports because I'm going to do public private um, nodes so I need to actually set the ports differently since I forward these ports uh, they all need to be different um, but you know it's pretty simple to just get everything set up perfectly I'm even doing CPU shares so theoretically this should be staggered uh, they'll share the resources nicely they're not gonna fight for resources and the command is just everything's in my config.mainnet.json so the command is super simple for this thing to run I'm using the official uh, space mesh OS docker uh, file image but it, it's pretty easy to make your own if you wanted to but I just wanted to keep it uh, all kind of official where I can so we're actually using the official image here this isn't something that I made up this is the actual space mesh OS docker image and everything is done through here so literally if I were to update this I could just click update the stack uh, say I wanted to change this IP address I can change node 8 click update the stack and just node 8 will basically get updated uh, which is awesome and I can come in here and I can uh, stop start restart do all sorts of things with these containers if I just want to update the config file for one of these I can stop just one of them uh, the the options are basically endless between Grafana uh, Portainer and I even have uh, Prometheus here so if I look at my targets I can see all the metrics being posted for space mesh I've got uh, node exporter and I've got Cadvisor and Prometheus itself posting metrics oh, getting a little bit tired here talking but uh, yeah so there's this I'm gonna do a video that covers every single aspect of this goes over exactly how to get uh, everything working and looking good um, so it's coming give me about a week maybe a week and a half I might need uh, I'm gonna be gone starting tomorrow for about a week or so so it might be next weekend that I work on it but it is coming and I think it'll help a lot of people because even though I'm running 15 nodes even if you're running one or two nodes this is honestly better in my opinion than running the, the GUI or anything like that And you can basically do anything with this uh, you will need to know a little bit of command line stuff which I'll go over it you're just gonna to need to learn it uh, because it'll be helpful if you need to do anything on the system yourself so uh, I'm gonna end the video here this is coming soon it'll probably be four or five videos or so maybe more depending on how in-depth I go I want this to be like kind of like a full tutorial so stay tuned this is coming 
and uh, I think it will be a, a big improvement because this has honestly helped me out a lot in my own journey to get a, a handle on all of my nodes. I have three hosts, each with about 15 nodes. They don't all have post data, but um, it's nice to be able to see everything in one dashboard. All right, I will see you soon, and happy smashing.